All right, good afternoon, class. How is everyone? Good. Fine, thanks. Good. I wanted to uh, go over what we learned last week in terms of our math lessons. So, as you guys know, we went over simple operations, and that includes one as addition and subtraction. But today, we're going to follow something called order of operations. Now, when you hear something called order of, our, of operations, what, what do you think order means, uh, Tim? Um, like the s sequence of events. Okay. Yeah, sequence of sequence of events, and that has a lot to do with what we're going to learn today in terms of uh, the order of operations. So, uh, if you guys can take out your math learning plot, um, I would love for you guys to write down this objective right here. So, you guys uh, just write down uh, that students will be able to identify the correct math order of operations and apply the PEMDAS method to solve math calculations. You guys are probably like, "What the heck is PEMDAS?" We'll go over that later this uh, today. And it'll be a lot easier when we uh, go through the different activities. And um, but just make sure to write everything down. And um, aside from that, uh, the next thing that we're going to do is just a quick, simple uh, do now. As you guys know, the do now is basically a warm up activity before we actually do our lesson. So I would love for you guys to write down the four different uh, mathematical operations that we learned last week. So as you guys know, a hint: the first one, as I mentioned prior, was addition. So, uh, can someone give me the last uh, one, one, one of the other uh, mathematical operations, uh, Nikki? Subtraction. Subtraction, right. So, addition, subtraction. Uh, Lindsay, can you give me another one? Division. Division. Great. Um, and Ashley, can you give me the last one? Multiplication. Multiplication. Awesome. So, you guys have addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Perfect. So, uh, this plays really, really an important role in order of operations because as um, Tammy mentioned, an order is a sequence of events. And as you can see right here, the one operation, that's not necessarily a sequence of events. It's just one operation, so it's just addition. So can someone give me uh, the answer for the first problem up on the board? Um, any volunteers? Ashley? 17. 17, right. It's 2 plus 2 plus 8 plus 5 equals 17. But for the following two problems, it's a bit different from the first one because these have more than one operation. Now, we haven't tackled this type of problem before, but today we're going to really get into it and really figure out. Okay, so just to continue on your math journal, just write down the simple definition of order of operations. It's a math rule that determines the, the correct order for solving any series of math operations. As Tammy mentioned before, it is a sequence of events, and it basically provides us uh, the best opportunity to actually solve the problem. So for example, the 2 plus 2 plus 5 plus 8, it's, it was easy to solve that because it was just one operation. But for the previous problem, as you guys saw, 4 plus 3 times 2 plus 3, um, we'll have to follow these steps. So there's four simple steps in the order of operations. And the first one is to perform any calculations in parentheses. Um, uh, as, as we talked about last week, parentheses is basically anything that are in small brackets. And in a mathematical operation, that's the first thing that we solve. So if there's addition in that, we solve that first before we solve anything outside of the parentheses. Now the second step is perform any calculations with exponents. Now we haven't tackled exponents yet, but we will next week. But this is just to keep in mind that this is the next step that you guys do during uh, any mathematical uh, equation. Now the third step is to do multipl multiplication and or division. So it depends whether it comes first or last. It's the same order, so it doesn't matter if the uh, multiplication comes first or the division comes first. You both do, you, you do both of them as well. And the last one is addition and or subtraction. Now, are there any questions so far on the order of operations? Uh, I don't know if you guys have any problems so far. Um, no? Awesome. Great. Can you guys give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down? Um, okay. Thumbs up. Awesome. Thumbs up. Great. Okay, so this is one of the most important rules for the order of operations, the left to right rule. When you're reading a book, how do, how do, you, how do you read a book? Um, Lindsay? Left to right. Left to right, right. So it's an important rule that not only applies in math, but also in any day situation, especially when you're reading. So for the first example, 2 plus 4 uh, plus 6 minus 1, you would add the first three numbers first, then you would subtract 1, and as well as for the last one. So you have uh, multiplication and division all in the same equation. You would just do it left to right. Okay, so the first example. Okay, the, I know this seems very, very daunting and very and it's a huge, huge problem. But if you guys just break it down slowly and remember our PEMDAS rule, we'll really get it uh, together. So for the first thing, um, I I would like to point out that the first thing you do is tackle on the parentheses. So you just 
look at that highlighted section right there, it's 5 plus 4. As all of you guys know, obviously that's 9. So the next step, uh, it'll, be, it'll be 3 plus 6 times 9 divided by 3 minus 7. So after that, it's going to be the multiplication rule because we're going from left to right. So it's 6 times 9, and as a result of that, that is 54. So it's going to be 3 plus 54 divided by 3 minus 7. As you guys can see in the highlighted section right there, the next step is division. So it's going to be 54 divided by 3. And that's going to be 18. So, and this is pretty simple math right here. So 3 plus 18 minus 7, that's going to be 21 minus 7. And the answer with that is going to be 14. So um, it's pretty, pretty simple. Obviously, we had to like break it down. I did this problem way beforehand, so I have these numbers memorized in my head. But um, I want everyone to contribute for the next one. So can anyone help me out with what's the first part of this equation that we should tackle? Ashley? Parentheses. Parentheses. Exactly. So you tackle on the parentheses. So what's 9 minus 1, Ashley? 8. 8. Perfect. So the next thing, obviously the answer's right there, but um, what would be the next step, uh, Tammy? Either multiplication or division. Right, exactly. So it's either multiplication or division. And in this case, it's division. So it's 8 divided by 8, which is 1. So what's the next step? So if it's 7 minus 1 times 2 plus 4, what's the next thing? What's the... Multiplication? Multiplication, right. Correct. So it's 7 minus 1 times 2 plus 4. So 1 times 2 is... 2. 2. two. Exactly. So it's 7 minus 2 plus 4. So it doesn't seem as daunting as it initially looks. Now we broke it down to just three simple three simple numbers. So what's the next step? It's on the answers on the board. <laughs> right, exactly. So it's going to be 5 plus 4, which will be 9. 9, exactly. You guys got it right. So I know a lot of this seems very, very boring, just like very, very dry. And I know it's kind of hard to memorize the PEMDAS uh, rule because uh, it does seem like a pretty uh, a long list to memorize. So in order to help you guys and to help myself too, I helped uh, construct this song along with the help of Google and YouTube. Um, so <laughs> before we start, uh, I would love for you guys to help me out on this. Uh, we're going to sing this. I have the lyrics right here, and from the papers that you guys picked up uh, at the beginning of class, uh, we have the lyrics right there. So it's going to be quite embarrassing for me, as well as for you guys, but um, I want you guys to imagine that I have an amazing voice and that we're both going to, that we're all going to just sing beautifully together. Uh, okay, so I'm going to just put the music on right now, um, but I'm going to sing it first, and then you guys are going to go next, and after you guys sing it, we'll just do it in unison. Down, down, do your math, do your math. 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 Your turn. Down, down, do your math, do your math. 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 Now the next part. We're just going to list the entire PEMDAS uh, order. Parentheses, 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 exponents, 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 exponents. Now mult, divide, now mult, divide, and then add and subtract, then add and subtract. Your turn, guys. One, two, three. Parentheses, 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 parentheses exponents, 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 exponents. From the left, from the left, from the left, from the left, to the right, to the right, to the right, to the right. P E M D A S O yeah. P E M D A S O yeah. Awesome. Okay, so hopefully you guys enjoyed that. But the next time you guys approach a problem, just keep this song in your head. Uh, okay, so now we're gonna do a group activity as we do every time we do a math uh, lessons. So for this, obviously, I want you guys to work together on the group activity worksheet that you guys picked up at the beginning of class. And each student must double check their work. Now the last one, I'll randomly choose one student from each group to answer the questions that, that um, we have on the worksheet. But I want you guys, guys to work for the next 15 minutes uh, together. And um, I'll let you guys know if you guys uh, 
Let, please let me know if you guys need any help at all. So just raise your hand and I'll come right over.